I was this close to saying this is gonna be another, you know, not the best episode for Fate Stay Night. But that ending, I'm a dog. Oh they just know how to leave us on those freaking cliffhangers. Alright, I was not expecting two brand new servants to be introduced, really. And what surprised me most is that we get another chick, another chick that's a servant. In my eyes, you know, that's, that's wonderful. That's that's awesome. So obviously there's no complaints from me. We could just see some girl action. Who knows, maybe there'll be a little nip slip. It was better than with Fate Zero when it was pretty much a cock fest over there. So, you know, I'm actually liking to have a variety of genders. I'm acting like there's like seven or eight genders. You know, but it's good. They're mixing it up. And it's not going to be pure guys with one girl. So I'm enjoying that aspect of the anime already. I am. Um, but she's, I guess she's caster. You know, they confirm it. She is caster. Which at first I thought that would be assassin since she's using strings. Honestly, when this, these whole classes are confusing the fuck out of me. Because they, they say they're that class, but they're doing something from another class. If that if that really was caster that did those strings, I'd that'd be stupid. Cause that's an assassin attack. That's a fucking assassin thing. Using the strings. Believe me, I, I play Skyrim man. I know that's an assassin type weapon freaking skill. But you know besides besides we'll see assassin, which he looks awesome, he looks like a samurai from back in the day. And I can't wait, but can't wait. he looks like a badass and again and again I'm telling you. How in the fuck is this guy an assassin? He looks like a samurai. He would look like he's from the Saber class. I'm just saying. He's probably gonna have some assassin stuff. I don't know. Shunai knives, kunai knives, I don't know. But besides the ending, besides that awesome cliffhanger ending, which is also kind of fucked up because I really want to see it more, um, it, was, uh, it wasn't the best. We just got some more setup to the future events. We well, we'll find out that obviously uh, Sinji is one of those masters. We don't know to which master though. Most likely it would be Ryder, which a lot of you guys guessed it was Ryder. Which I have no idea how you would guess that girl. You know the girl with the blindfold and uh, yeah. How would that be Ryder? I don't know. You guys know? I did not see it coming. And we'll also find out that <laughs> Mia is pretty much the weakest master, which we, we all guessed that already, but now they confirmed it. So he's the weakest link. Goodbye. Then we get some more Sundere Ren, which is always a necessary thing in the, in the episode where really. we need more of her in her Sundere way. It's hot. It's hot. I'm just saying right now, it's hot. Then we get to see some Mia affection towards Saber while <laughs> Saber was like anxiously looking at how. And Mia trained, so that was obviously kind of cute. It was adorable, builds on the romance. But other than that, man, it was pretty much it. Really wasn't. That was pretty much it. Well, that's all that stuck out for me, honestly. I woke up kind of late. Oh, uh, my head hurts. Yeah. <laughs> it was a pretty rough night last night, so, you know, I, I'm sorry if I missed anything. Because, you know, Fridays, like I said before, man, Fridays are my only. Fridays and Tuesdays are my only free days, so that's the only days I could actually have fun. And you know, do shit. So yeah, you know. Usually when I do these reviews, it's because my head hurts, and you pretty much know why it hurts. Wink, wink. I liked it, especially the ending, the beginning. Eh, it wasn't the best. It, you know, it was. Oh, also with Caster, I love how she teases. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you fucking love that shit. She teases Amia as if like she's gonna like, like, like abuse him or something. Really, the way she talks to Amia is like. Very interesting. But yeah, what are your thoughts on this episode? What was your favorite scene? And who is becoming your favorite servant or master? Leave your thoughts down below because I always love discussing with you guys. Let's have a discussion. Subscribe for my table. Take care, be safe, and have a good day. Peace.